Hello, my name is Will Strauss. I'm a principal analytics consultant and Sigma expert at PH Data. In today's installment of Sigma Made Simple, I want to talk about the difference between changing a data source and replacing a table. So I have a quick workbook open here, and I have these two different tables. And this is the plugs electronics retail data. And here I have a bar chart with splitting up product families by sum of cost. And this is currently being sourced by this first table. As if you could see here, I highlighted the cost with blue and I have this as blue on the sum cost. So the difference here is, ah, we just got this new data source that brings in that cost as a negative value, or maybe I did some other calculations and created a group by table or a pivot table. And I want to replace the underlying source for that bar chart to now use the one that shows cost as a negative. That's where we change the source. So I'm going to click on the table hit the three drop downs, go to element source, and I can change source. I can go skip over to what the source element is, and that's going to tell me it's this one, but I want to change it. So I'm going to go over here, element source, change source, and I can either create a new connection, write SQL, up, you know, a new join, a new union, some data blending, something that's already in use or just from the page. I'm going to click on page elements and grab this one over here. And because I had that blue to red scale, you can see in the element, it's already transitioned to using the sum of cost as a negative value. How that contrasts from replacing table is that the formatting, like the color that you just showed, the sorting for the product groups being, you know, towards or minus ascending, descending uh, on cost, the, that all is gonna stay the same if I change the underlying source, of course, assuming that the fields are named the same. To replace a table is literally to get rid of the formatting, take the table away and bring in a whole new source. So if I go to a table here and I click on element source and click replace table, this is now going to bring me out to a new series of connections. It's assuming that it's something that's not in the workbook. I can look in my workspaces for another data source. I can go to my Snowflake data connections or other data connectors documents. And that's where I can go look to replace that table completely. All of the formatting, all of the fields, everything. Again, changing the source is keeping the formatting and, con and configuration of the native element of the first element. And all you're doing is changing the data source that it's tied to. Replacing the table is just that. It's completely replacing it. So if you're a brand new Stigma customer and you're all excited to jump in and you realize that you have to unhook and rehook a whole bunch of new connections, or you just got in a new data warehouse like Snowflake and you need to replace all those connections, that's it. Just understand this basic concept and it's going to help you uh, create and transfer all of the connections that you need to while saving yourself a lot of work in having to reformat or recreate new elements from scratch. I hope this was helpful. Again, please follow us. Sigma Made Simple is our hashtag on LinkedIn that we will be notified of any new videos that Katrina or I put out. And thank you very much again.